All right. Hello, chat. How's it going? Hopefully well. Is it just me? Or is RuneScape music just the best ever? Like, this is just the greatest background music to chill to. I swear. Me and my giant, like, two-hour RuneScape playlist <laughs> that I'll just randomly throw on something from every stream. It's so good. Whoa. I think I'm ready for this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get through the rest of VR missions today and start Ghost Babble. Worshipper of the Olympians. Hello, thank you for the sub. Um... I'm fairly positive. The only catch there might be that, uh, the last VR missions might be hard. I don't know. I don't expect anything to be like crazy, but there's a chance. McDonald's or Burger King? Do we have to ask? I was about to go and type that in, but do we, do we really need to, uh, to put that poll up? I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah. Burger King has lost the war. Like, anyone who is a millennial or younger, there's like a solid 80% chance that they'll tell you that Burger King just sucks. Maybe, I'll, I'll throw it up anyway. We'll see how many votes Burger King can get. I'm down. I'm down for this one. I feel like they're both pretty, or they're they're both like widespread enough that uh, enough people can weigh in on it as well. That helps. There we go. All right. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to kill the RuneScape music and get on the grind. The unfortunate part is just killing the RuneScape music. For the record. It hurts me every day. I swear. Let me just make sure that I got the, uh... That's pretty good. We'll take it. I, I don't know the exact dimensions to, uh... To adjust for. Oh, we only have special mode left. And I've done all of these. Okay, we were on the versus 12 battle. How many categories are there? There's this, and then there's mystery, puzzle, variety, VR mission, ninja, NG selection. There's a lot still, but we're at 80% completion overall, so we should be able to finish it and probably get like a tiny bit of ghost babble in. Sour candy? A little bit. It de I, I don't I don't feel like I ever get a random craving. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. This was like eliminate 12 enemies and they just kind of give you like a varied assortment of weapons and random amounts of ammo for those weapons to do it with. And you can just go ham, like 10 minute time limit. Just do your thing. Oh, oh, oh. Do they repopulate? Whoa, what is going on with this guy? He's freaking me out, man. <laughs> Shit. No, no, no. You can't catch me. Check this out, check this out. Oh, that was good. Oh, no way that wasn't. Just so many kills in one go. This is this is progress. We're making things happen here. Seven of twelve is a great start. I know I have the SOCOM, but I try to save the bullets, because like we only have twelve bullets for it. And it takes like three or four to kill a guard. That's 12. Let me out. Thank you. 
Tried BK fries once and they were really tasteless, so I'm voting McDonald's. BK fries are really good as long as they are salted well enough. It's, it's so hit or miss, like depending on the location and everything, especially. But I'm telling you, they are so good if they're just seasoned. I swear the majority of Burger Kings don't season them, in my experience. But when they do, Burger King fries actually slap. What is this assortment? I'm playing MGS1, I can't drop down the ledge. I'm coming off a week of, uh, of portablops, all right? Come on now. I'm used to a little more freedom going on here. The king has smiled upon me. Really? Never had, like, just... I wouldn't say they're, like, bad, but just, like, bland, like, kind of unsalted Burger King fries. You've never had this experience? Maybe the king has taken favor upon you. Don't pay attention to that. Oh, shit. We are gonna run away from that. Bad burgers, but never fries. They're burgers. See, Burger King is like the most hit or miss thing, I swear. Cause their burgers are also like, well, okay, hold on. Because if Burger King, uh, I shouldn't say if. The thing with Burger King burgers is Burger King is very generous with their toppings. So you get like what should be a good burger because it's got like good lettuce, good pickle, good whatever is on it, right? Tomato. But then there's the problem of uh, their beef patties are kind of shit. Just like, and that's a pretty big problem when you're making burgers, you know? That's not like a minor issue. How's the weather? Today? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't been outside today. I can't believe I snatched him right there. I'm a gamer. You think I've been outside today? I could look. It's cloudy out. I'm not that much of a gamer. I do have my window open for like most of the day. You know, I'm, I'm a gamer. I'm not a hardcore gamer. Says the guy who makes video essays. Boys, could we... Why are there only two of you at a time? I'm kind of looking for a big group up sort of moment. Oh, fuck. Wait, really? That killed one and injured the other? Are you serious? I'll take it. Yeah, we wanna we wanna like get down to the end and then whip out the SOCOM for sure. That that is 100 percent the move. There it is. I was like, where did I put that uh quick equip and unequip? I knew that I had bound it to something so that I could use it. In Canada, Burger King is better than McDonald's? What? Well... Damn! Damn! I was one second over, okay. Hold on, how is the weather? Normally it's on my desktop, but I'm stuck in full screen. It is... There we go. Uh, 39 degrees Fahrenheit here today. People always think that I'm joking when I'm like, yeah, it's cold up here. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of grenades and not a lot of anything else. We do have a sniper, though, which is interesting. Um, man, how do I... I'm actually surprised he didn't raise an alert. Uh, 
If it works, it works. We take what we can get here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Man, what did I tell you? Don't go up there. State. State your and reasons. <laughs> Hello, Mickle. You heard him, guys. State. Oh, shit. State your and reasons. Your name and reasons. That's better. Okay. Um. I really do have a lot of grenades. I don't know why I have been given so many grenades. I don't know why that's like the main tool that I have here, but we've got to make them work. That's my one rocket. Man, where, where's my SOCOM? Like, hello? Could I just have like a pistol even? Oh, that grenade's going off of it. Who knows where? Beautiful. Beautiful grenade setup. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my God, the zoom on the sniper is gonna make that impossible. That's a no. There's one guy left. Where is he gonna be? He is gonna be there, seemingly? Yes. Slow turn to the right. Very, very slowly. Beautiful. Flawless execution, I say. Good work. You're as good as they said. <laughs> Mickle really asked, who voted Burger King? First person to uh, to say, I voted Burger King because this. Mickle's like, no, you get a 10 second timeout. <laughs> Just for that. <laughs> Hello, Jess. Thank you for 20 months. Mickle's at. 20 as well. I always feel like it's long, and then I'm like, wait a second. Like last week, Mickle renewed his, and it was 20. But. Oh my god, it gave me weapons, and I have to go retrieve the ammo? Oh no. Uh oh. This is a new challenge. They haven't done this yet. Ah! Um. This is really bad. Where's the ammo? Don't tell me the guards drop ammo when they're... Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Fuck it. Shit, this isn't going well. You're on thin ice. Metal slugs? I have not. What is metal slugs? It's not, for a second I thought it was, um, what's it called, unmetal. Oh fuck. I can't hide here either, there's nowhere to hide. Gotta do my best here. Okay, okay. At 8 a.m. Wait, there's ammo way in the back. Like all the way in the back. I saw it. There was a box of something. I'll take something. The one thing that I can give Burger King, especially compared to McDonald's nowadays, is that they're nice and cheap. Oh, shit. All the ammo was in the back. Okay. Okay, now now we're working with something. Now plans can come together. I can reset this alert. I have no health, but I can make this work. Check this out. <laughs> no one knows what happened. What was that noise? I don't know. Wow. I wasted a sniper round and I'm pissed. Hmm. Must have been the wind. Anyone? The, the scope is a little zoomed in. 
There's no way to zoom it out. Work with me here. Fuck. What was that? Don't worry about it. I don't think that's gonna hit anyone. They don't even know where I am. Oh. Okay, this has been a bit of a shit show, but I might be able to make something out of it. Take this, bitches. They're just running to the last explosion. Uh-oh. I was close. I was making progress. 20 miles away? I'm not that desperate for a bad burger. Have you seen the barrel in Modern Warfare that literally gives you walls? No. What happened? What did they do? This is why I love Call of Duty. <laughs> Big Call of Duty Ooh, enjoyer because of free hacks and such. I'm actually shocked that I grabbed that. Like, without raising an alert or anything. That was unintentionally very clean. Okay. I have the ammo. Let's try to not waste any of these rounds this time. Just slow and steady in the asshole. Oh my god. It's the same guy repopulating. Incredible. Okay. From here, let's try to get something with a grenade if I can. Uh oh. Well, this might give me an opportunity. Cooked it too long. Oh, I have a weapon in my hand. Can't flip the guy. Stay on that grenade. Fucking shit. This is a situation for C4. Oh, hello. Um, don't mind me. Ow. They have this sniper rifle barrel that has infinite bullet penetration. It can go through infinite walls. Oh, barrel as in a gun part? Oh my god. I thought, I thought we were talking like in the environment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, sweet Jesus. S barrel as in a sniper rifle barrel. This is... This is next level now. Run, run, snake, run. Flip the bitch. Get moving. We need grenades and fast. Oh, God. Where's the C4? How did he survive that? That's bullshit. Oh, I, he can see me. Yeah, I'm a little stupid for that one. Um. People have been using sensor grenades and cameras to mark opponents so they can just kill them behind 500 walls of cover. And it's hilarious because in the kill cams it doesn't show the markers. Oh my god. So it's indistinguishable from, uh, from people like actually using walls. It is why you mentioned the kill cam thing. I'm assuming. Modern Warfare AS Val. I wasn't around at the time the Val happened, but I've heard about it. 
I wasn't playing the game that long. Modern Warfare 2019 was really not my thing. It was for like a couple weeks. That, that's probably the fastest I've gotten sick of any COD. Since Ghosts, I would say. MW19 was the fastest I got bored of a Call of Duty since like Ghosts. Way back when. Oh my God. Oh. Jess probably doesn't know the video in question either. I saw enough of that to read the, the reference before the bot clapped it. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to do my job, that's all. Bitches. Oh, I hit myself, I'm so pissed. Oh no. Fuck. Oh my god, this challenge is something else. Did they just group up? Fuck. Hey, it hit a couple of them. Thank you, auto aim. Thank you once again. I meant to flip him. Um, there's only three of them left. Oh my God, leave me alone. Fuck off. It's a reference? Yes. It is a true story, it, you know, based oh on, <laughs> it's based on a true story. I'm uncultured. Yeah, there's a, there's a video that went around of this crazy dude, like, in the back of an airplane. <laughs> yeah. He, he went viral for a bit. For all the, the wrong reasons. Ha! Ah. Good work. You're as good as they said. Pinned a comment saying bro doesn't even try to hide it anymore. That's crazy that they have, I mean, such a simple solution to that. Like for future games, I doubt that they would patch it into MW3, but they certainly could if they wanted to. Um, It should probably show like sensor equipment and stuff on kill cam. I, like I've been saying this for a bit, because, you know, who knows if that guy that just shot you through a wall is walling or if he had like a camera. You just, you genuinely never know. All that you see is a guy shooting you through a wall. So it's gonna look like walls. Maybe there was a camera. Oh, what a setup. Just the most perfect grenade bounce of my life. Oh, they're not, they're not running over here. They will now. Oh, hello, you guys all ran a little further than expected. <laughs> Just uh, gonna leave that there, don't mind me. While you guys are taking a quick nap. Okay, two is great, especially when I have Claymores and, yeah, and a SOCOM. Like we already won in that case. Brought shame on the Whopper. Brought shame on the king. Snake and Raiden simultaneously. <laughs> the most masculine and feminine people in fiction. I've said it before and I will say it again. The fact that Raiden was turned into the main character of MGS2 legitimately because female players in Japan, like during surveys, said that they found Raiden more attractive than Snake is hilarious to me. 
Just that that was enough for Kojima to be like, all right, it's him then. Get, bring in the hot femboy, let's go. Snake, uh, you get like a two hour segment at the beginning. Hot femboy, you get like the rest of the 10 hours, go. It's your time to shine. I might be able to do this whole one with just choking them out, to be honest. He's known as Jack the Ripper. He is from his uh, child soldier days. Oh, fuck. Shit. Why, Jess, did you go to the Metal Gear Wiki to uh, <laughs> conduct research of your own <laughs> after hearing that? Uh, not that that's, you know, my assumption, but from what I've gathered just now, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's, you know, the, the timeline is adding up, is all I'm saying. Uh-oh. Okay, they're not running all the way over here. We're actually close to MGS2. Which I, I, I'm excited for. MGS2 is my favorite so far, so I'm I'm excited to get to replay it. Um. Shit! He was standing up. Leave me alone. Actually, they might. Yeah, they stopped. Booyah! That was perfect. Okay, only one more. There he is. I see him. Bitch. I'm like 12 yeah. hours in-ish. I think mine was like 12 or 13 hours. If I remember right. But I definitely didn't find, like, every little thing. And also, if you're, uh, if you're doing all the codec calls, it's probably taking you a lot longer. I'm gonna try to do all the codec stuff when, uh, when I go back through it. But, man, there were so many codec calls that, like, after the... After, like, the tanker section and maybe the first hour of playing as Raiden, I stopped doing as many extra calls. Because it's just, like, there was good stuff, but Jesus, there was so much of it. Like, there's probably just hours and hours of codec calls in that game that I haven't even heard. Catch and escort the criminal to the goal? The soldier who banged into the camera is the criminal. What? The soldier who banged into the... Okay, there's a broken camera. There's a, I've got five minutes to solve this mystery. Is this why it's called mystery? Are you shitting me? Oh. Ahem. <clears throat> um. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need you to come with me. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Impressive snake. What? <laughs> what was that? What did I just... What was that? <laughs> It's like, okay, dead, dead soldier, dead camera. And then I run up, I'm like, okay, soldier, soldier, fucking giant soldier. Socks. Someone who has taken the criminal's mask. No. Oh. Okay. This time, the guilty one lost his, his mask. 
All right, Detective Snake is on the job. I got this. This is great. This is so good. Popsicle. It seems like the enemy was having a popsicle. Oh. Indeed, it seems like they were. Who here was having a popsicle? Which one of yous? Which one of yous? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it was you. Was it you? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. What happens if you get it wrong? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wait. It's the guy in the middle. Wait a second. He... Okay, you were right about the breath, kind of. Sorry, backseating. No, I, I would not have thought to look for that. But you're right. Yeah, yeah, it, for some reason, it's the guy who didn't have... Oh, were they smoking? I, I don't know. That, that one was a little weird. Too nearsighted to even see the wall? Oh, no. Someone broke their glasses. Cold breath. All right, which one of you is nearsighted? Hmm? You seem fine. Hmm. You check out. Which one of you? Broke your glasses. Damn it, they're, they're not gonna move. I was like, maybe one of them will like run into the wall if I get them to move. Huh. Those first two were hilarious. That, especially that first one. With just the giant guard. Which one of you broke your glasses? This is a weird one. This is what a good detective does. Goes around and punches all of the suspects in the face at least once. Just to test their reaction, see who the, uh, the aggressive one is, you know? What? I don't get this one. I'm not, I'm not understanding. You'd think they would have some sort of, I don't know, injury? from running into the wall? Grab them? Oh wait. Are they gonna run back? Oh, okay. Okay, well, I knocked him out. <laughs> oh, it's you! Oh, oh, I found him! This one right here, officer. This one right here. I'm taking you in. Oh, he got out. He wiggled out. <laughs> okay, that one was a little weird. But I'll take it. 
That was even more like obscure than the popsicle one. Capture the fleeing criminal. This isn't much of a mystery. It's got to be the one on the top. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got to be that fast. Get over here. Get over here. Bastard. It is the one that I thought. Oh, hold on, the direction changes work in my favor. It's you! Stop right there! Oh, he wiggled out. There. These mystery ones are entertaining. I I'm curious about the puzzle ones now, because these are like kind of out of place, but weirdly charming. The dying message, Johnny, was the criminal the guard for the solitary confinement cell? No. Johnny would never. Johnny would never kill someone. All right, which one of you? Which one of you is Johnny, huh? Hmm. You all sounded the same. Which one of you is Johnny? I better not see one of them like have their ass out or something. Is one of them just gonna, like, after a certain amount of time, start to uh, get sick to their stomach, or what? What's the deal here? What's the deal with this one? One of you is Johnny. I'm also well aware that I could, in the amount of time that it takes to figure these out, just drag all three of you over, and eventually I'll win. But we're here to do this the true, the real way. The VR mission guys thought Snake would need detective training. Hey man, you never know. When you're out in the field, anything can happen. Maybe he'll sneeze? Maybe? Here, I've got two of you in my sight. Actually. There. Who's feeling a little, little sick? Huh? Which one of you? I want to give this a few seconds. Did one get up slower? Bro, there's no way. There's no way that we have to pay like that much. At it's him. Hello, Johnny. Jonathan, get up. Get up. We're going in. I'm taking you in. I've seen one man crumple like that before. It was, you're supposed to beat the shit out of him. So that he would do the pose. Unbelievable. Some of these are wild. Some of these are so strange. Footprints. Okay. I can do bloody footprints. Or just, oh fuck. Oh my god, hold on. Where, there they are. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. Um. We have a problem. It's... This footprint is his, right? That one going down, it, it must be this. Oh shit. 
but oh, fuck. I've left too many footprints. Are they gonna reset over time? Glasses equipped? Bro, I I really was like, I, okay, mine are disappearing. Oh, they're all disappearing. Oh, fuck. Okay. We just, we reset that real quick. Whose footprints are these? Okay. So we're, we're going like, uh, yeah, we're on. You, get over here. Oh no. Okay, so I now know that they randomize every run too. Like which one it is from left to right. The footprint routes were different. Okay, it's nice and easy so far. Oh, oh. You. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I wasn't paying enough attention to the left and right footprints. Like which foot, I, that's probably where I got mixed up the first time. They intentionally overlap them like that so that you have to pay attention to like the order of steps. You have to see where the left and the right foot is. That one's a little crazy. That one was good though. A feeble man. Observe the suspects well because the real criminal tends to be nervous and jittery. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, I wonder. I wonder who it could be. Oops, I keep accidentally flipping them. I forget I have to be neutral on the stick. They, so they're doing, they just took the heartbeat that they were using for MGS2 and threw it in here. Impressive. Weirdly. The heartbeat from the microphone. Disguise, the criminal has bad eyesight. So bad that he even mistook Snake from, for someone else. Oh, bad eyesight again. He killed one of his guards thinking it was me. He killed one of his fellow men. Is it just gonna be the same? Hold on. Oh, we're doing the flip test. We're hitting them with the flip test. Go on. Run back. His eyesight is so bad that he mistook a fellow guard for being me. What distinguishing... The solution's really dumb. Uh-oh. Let's beat the shit out of him. That has worked a couple times. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. New idea. How do I get them to like... Shit.
I don't think it's the guy on the right. I want to like put them in front of each other. Uh-oh. Get back here. It's gotta be... Fuck. This isn't gonna work, is it? <laughs> this is not the way to test it then? I, uh, I presume? Oh. Well. It's taking a quick... nap. Yeah, this really is one of those moments where, like, I would have better luck if I just grabbed a random one. Like, I would get through this quicker, but I, I want to figure out the solution because it seems so weird. Any items? Probably not, no. You're nowhere near on the right track. Fuck. How do I... How do I figure you out? Which one of you has such terrible eyesight? Hmm? Hmm? The broken glasses, I think, are just pulled over from the the other one because it's like also supposed to be an eyesight issue and yeah, none of them have like run into the wall or anything like that one at first i genuinely thought that uh that it would just be the same like way to figure it out man i'm gonna hit the time limit I'm trying to think, like, what other options do I have? Huh. <laughs> Snake jump scare. This one's really weird. The criminal has bad eyesight. So bad that he even mistook Snake for someone else. Trying the snake jump scare method. No items. I've got like the, you know, I've, I've got the couple CQC options. I've got my punches, got my crawls. I've got first person camera. all got the breath. What the fuck? This one is really strange. Like, really... I don't know if this is gonna be one where at the end it's gonna feel like it should have been obvious or not. A couple of them so far I've been like, man, that's so... like, not... uh... What's it? It's so, like, illogical. Like, no one would just think that that's the solution. A couple of them so far have been weird. Like, the popsicle one is kind of weird. I'm surprised that, uh, a chat. Wait a second. Oh my fucking god. Is it gonna be liquid? 
Is it gonna be liquid hair? Please. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's a room in the corner, bro. Why? You. There's just this one little room tucked in the corner. Impressive Would have never figured. I mean, I did, but it's just, it's so like, what? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Later found out they <laughs> source meat. How many fast food chains got busted? Got busted on horse meat. I know Burger King did. I know Taco Bell did. Are there more? Let me in, bitch. I'm here to solve a mystery. Oh my God. Sealed room. Investigate the room and solve the mystery of a murder behind closed doors. Okay. There's a broken vase. Ikea for their meatballs? Wait, really? I don't know the, the Ikea one. Huh. He was eating pizza. What? What is this? What? What? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that supposed to be... To... Emphasize this? No. That's a separate clue. Okay, so the pizza is a clue. He was eating... Solid pizza. Lion statue question mark with blood. I don't it, it may be a lion. That looks like a PS1 lion statue to me. Hmm. Drugs on the table. Hmm. devs that they fucking photoshopped an MGS1 genome soldier into? Are you kidding me? That is the funniest thing so far in the mysteries. Solid pizza is good, but that picture is incredible. Bloody mask in the fireplace. Hmm. Green herb. Or sorry, blue herb in the corner. <gasps> A key. Fuck. Fuck, come on. Come on. This is Professor Plum. A key. Someone had a key. But no one actually ate a slice. It's true. Someone was about to eat a slice. They were about to take it. A green herb in this corner? Where's the red herb? Where's the red one? There's gotta be a red one. Scratches on the wall. A fucking comically large sword. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid fan. What is this? I love it so much. Hold on. I, I didn't get like the suspenseful. There it is. Does that say SOS on the cup? I think it does. <gasps> the red herb. Okay. It actually is a Resident Evil thing. <laughs> There's a green, a red, and a blue one. Come on now. Come on now. I never got the suspenseful music for the blue one. There's a phone on the floor. Hold on. Oh, there we go. You should have reviewed this game. Maybe. A lot of it isn't really worth talking about. Stuff like this is, wait, what the fuck? 
Was that there before? There's no way that I missed this. There is no chance that I missed the Psycho Mantis mask on the giant plant. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <gasps> this is my first time doing the special missions, yes. Don't have weird ones like the mystery levels? Bro, this is like the highlight for me so far. This is genuinely like the best part. Is that liquid? <gasps> what? How strange. Hmm. Solid pizza. I didn't get like a... Anything on the ceiling? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, hold on, I gotta see what the bot just went crazy over. Oh. Of course. Come on now. Work with me here. There! I don't know what pinged the bot. It's the letter R. The bot doesn't like some specific letters for very specific reasons. Is the chair a hint? Am I supposed to like get the, the chair? Oh, the key. Hold on. I, I didn't get the key earlier either. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why can I not, like, there? I was like, why? Why did the Psycho Mantis mask never highlight? What? Oh my god. <laughs> so you just have to identify all the clues, and then it's the fucking ketchup bottle. That's actually really funny. Uh, that's actually sorry. I was checking what the other one was. Uh, that was pretty good. The ketchup bottle. <laughs> that's a good one. I, I like them just throwing the ketchup bottle back at you because, you know. All clues are red herrings. That's almost funnier to me. Ketchup on pizza. Was that what he was doing? Oh, my God. Oh, ketchup on pizza is criminal. Eliminate all enemy soldiers and- Oh, I thought this was gonna be like, like actual- With the way that the mystery ones were, I thought this was gonna be like a puzzle puzzle, you know? I love how the algorithm picks up on Metal Gear content. Hey, I'll take it. This is a win for everyone here. Okay. Dodo, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. I should have gone in first person sooner. I didn't realize that's what was gonna happen. I was like, wait, how do I get across? Impressive. Not thinking, okay, that was awesome. Let me do it again. Uh, that took literally 15 seconds. Let me, hold on. It's worth it to just. <laughs> yep. Perfect. 
I can't get over the solution for the the last mystery just being to wait, and then it was the ketchup bottle all along. It's incredible. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> my, uh... My Joy-Con controller for my Switch just randomly, it's been sitting there for months. I haven't even turned on my Switch in months. And as I look over to it, it shifts and falls out the back of my desk. Like, what are the odds that out of nowhere it just does that? Am I supposed to punch him for this one? Oh, the camera handles this one for me. Man, these aren't puzzles. These are fun. I, I like what they're doing, but these aren't puzzles. Impressive Puzzle my ass. Oh wait, they might turn into puzzles. Hold on. When you drop the enemy into a pit, how do I? Okay, all of a sudden it's becoming a puzzle. 25 seconds? Yeah, there- What? Do I have- Wait. It's just Domino? Hey, 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 hey. I'll take it. I have a stinger. Okay, I was like, what? What am I supposed to do about the camera? Boosh. There's no story tied to it. I mean, gameplay spoilers, sure. Like, if there's funny shit that's gonna happen, then don't tell me before it happens. Fuck, what? How is this, of all things, how is this one is stumping me? Technically a prologue? Well, kind of. It, it's like, uh, it's like dubious territory. You know, it's like, maybe? Actually, because, you know, it's referenced in MGS2 that Raiden did these. The camera is a red herring. Oh my god. The camera is a red- Oh! Uh, you bastards trolling me. What's wrong with you? Oh. The camera was a red herring. Fucking bitches. Just stinger the soldier. Yeah, I put it together now. I was thinking I had to like go up there and flip him off into the pit or something. Oh. Okay, now the timing on this is just weird. Play these games like a fiddle? What do you mean, like a fiddle? But welcome. Hold on. I think I'm getting played like a fiddle right now. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. That's good enough. I thought because he didn't go all the way in, it was going to fail me. Oh, now I shoot the camera. Who's going to raise the alert? Oh, fuck. Go. Snake, go. Snake, please. Oh, Jesus. Damn. For the 25 Metal Gear Rays? What? What's my plan for the what now? I should have read this, but I think I know what's going on. Ooh, 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 I liked that. I liked that a lot. That was nice. Uh, maybe I could hit that one. Fuck. Oh, the number you have to fight in that sequence is determined by the difficulty you're on? Shit. Well, that works. Sure. This is 
one of those. This is one of those. I'm trying to like get the lock on and then that, that's what you're supposed to do too. Okay, okay. We're using stinger missile tech to get this shit done. Just a little flick of the thumbstick is all it takes. That's actually wild. I was really sitting here like trying to find the perfect angle and everything. You need the angle and the uh, angle. Ha ha! Then you. Auto one equips. It does, but I have it bound a little differently. Uh, I don't have the R1. I did bind it to my D-pad, but I am now in the habit of not using it. I, I did my controls a little differently. Uh, because when we started playing MGS1 on stream, I had just done the MGS2 video. So I just made the controls to like match MGS2's controls. I can do this, this is fine. Uh, blowing all that up. Oh, okay, as long as the guards are far enough ahead. Oh, okay. A game I'll probably never play. There's some good stuff in here. I wouldn't grind it out, but you know, I, I mean, especially nowadays that VR missions is just kind of like packaged with MGS1 in anything post like 2000. It's, it's worth maybe just, you know, chipping away out bit by bit. At the very least, just the special categories can be pretty fun. Those mysteries are something. Figure out running and shooting, yeah. Now we wait, right? Oh, am I supposed to outpace them? Oh, see, I thought I was gonna wait for them to turn around. Okay, okay. I'm supposed to run and shoot here. I thought, uh, yeah. I just did not understand the assignment. Go. Oh, fuck off. I hope I can punch him. Oh shit. Of all the ways to mess it up. PS1, oh, okay. Cause yeah, now like even this version, the PC version that came out in 2000, they just had them bundled together. So it's like pretty much as soon as VR missions came out, they just started selling them as a bundle. And obviously like Master Collection and all that shit now. Huh. I'm supposed to wait for iframes, I think. I think so. I bought it because the ninja was on the cover of the box. I mean, fair enough. It's worth checking out, I would say. It is, you know, it, it's, it's got a little heart to it. It's got its own appeal to it. Oh, fuck, the two. Okay, so at the beginning, I just run. I, I go like pretty much to the end. Are they worth much? The PC box, maybe. The PS1 version, I would have to assume it's not gonna be worth much. Um, 
Because with old games, typically, if they end up becoming valuable later... Well, fuck. Um... It, it's normally because the game is rare and there aren't many copies floating around of it. Like, on the used market. With how MGS sold on, like, PS1, I would assume... There's plenty of MGS1 copies floating around out there. The PC version, you might have a little more luck, though. I, I would assume the PC version is going to be worth more, especially if you've got the box and everything. Might try Portable Ops after I see your... The Portable Ops is definitely worth checking out. I know uh, I got some comments this morning... Just saying that, like, they never played it because they came to the party late with Metal Gear. You know, reminds me of someone. And, uh, it, it's commonly considered to be non-canon. So a lot of people just skipped it. Because it's like, okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, fucking go, Snake! I finally got it! I found the balance! Impressive MGS and VR missions have been pretty cheap, around 20 to 40. Oh yeah, compared to other PS1 games. I would say that's about what I would have expected for, you know, like a game that sold well on PS1. Depending if it's platinum version or not. I'm assuming platinum version is worth more? Destruction sequence is important. What? Nikita will explode when disarmed. What does that mean? It's destroy all targets and head for the gold. The destruction sequence is important. Oh my god. The order in which I destroy the targets is important. Oh, brother. It doesn't go down. It only goes up. I might have made a mistake already. Yeah. I can make it work. I made it useful. It's probably not worth all the effort. Okay. Um How did Snake even remember? The right, right, left. Dude, it, he, you know, canonically, it's crazy that he would have remembered that. I had to write that shit down. When we look at it now, it's like, it, well, yeah, they were, uh, they were padding the game. Oh, wait, does this now go to, wait, no, it's not high enough. The fuck? Where does this shit go? No! God damn it. Oh wait. There's a ramp right here too. Okay, that one's on me. <laughs> that one is uh is my fault. Oh sweet Jesus. Okay. So far, so good. Um... Go through the tunnel. Oh, there's a ramp right here? The fuck? How did I miss this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's high. Okay. I, I was like, how could I have missed a ramp that was literally right there? Um. Let's go back around. I think I hit the invisible wall. <laughs> Uh... 
how am I going to get it that low? That's now like the follow-up question. How am I going to get these things? Okay, invisible wall back there as well. It's not far out. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> It was, uh, it was another good attempt. <laughs> uh, on the left of the screen from middle level, this ramp? Oh wait, I should... I think I could hit that. Oh, I have launched this early. Um, I have 50 missiles, it doesn't matter. Hold on. From up here, I think we can get in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. This is something. Progress is being made. Somewhat. Is this the same elevation? Yes. All right. This one is a lot. This is a whole lot. We're doing puzzles out here. From here, can we get in there? Yeah. Why would I want to get in there? Is there a ramp in there? Hold on. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay. Um, I don't know why that hole is there. I feel like it might be an issue with me. Uh, hello, Swift and Geronimo. Sorry, I don't think I have my, uh, my live redirect set up for, uh, for public. I, I think I have it set to, like, the private option? Do recon? That's kind of what I'm doing. Like, this isn't the run. Like, I'm gonna have to get all the way up there. How the fuck does that work? Oh, wait. Hold on, if we go through here, there's that one ramp, like, out back. Well, this might already be above that. Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, I just, I hit it a little bit. I saw the, the angle pull up a little bit. It still hits the wall. That's something, though. Hold on. We're, we're making some things happen. Where do I bring it from here? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. That's another ramp. We Okay, this is a whole lot, dude. So you go up here, and then you pull around back. You hit this ramp. And then you gotta weasel your way on through here. Flip a 180. And then I should be able to hit this one. Oh, is it higher up still? Oh, there's another ramp. Oh my God. Then we go off of this. Holy shit, all that for two of them. And I barely made it in time, but that part's figured out. Okay, that was, that was something. Um. Okay, now let's just do the easy ones, right? Like we bring this over here, we run down again. Bring this over here. Some stuff out this way. How do you go down? I don't know. That's 10, 12, 14. There were two out this way, right? Yes, yeah, 16. Okay. Um. I don't think that the ramps can pull it down, to my knowledge. For, for like some of these, 
There are ramps under the ramps you walk on. What? Oh, 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 I see what you mean. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think it fits them. Oh, it doesn't. Shit. I, I thought that was about to be crazy, actually. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I set it up wrong. Let's try that again. No, it, it hits the wall. Shit. For a second, I thought you were onto something. Wait, unless. I don't know. I think for a couple of them, I mean, we have five minutes. Like a lot of that timer running down is just me trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Like where, where I'm trying to, uh, to bring this stuff. So like now that I know, right? I, I know to do all this. First off, oh, I hit the wall. Corners. Can you go to the very bottom area? Like walk to it? Oh, the one over on the side? I don't think I can get over there. Maybe I could. That would make my life a lot easier. PS1 hitboxes. Am I right? This is actually a pretty crazy puzzle. This is some advanced Nikita gameplay here. Oh, I'm gonna hit the corner! Oh, hit that. Thank you. Third person is the way for this one. We circle around. This thing's only got so much fuel in the tank. Okay. Now let's get the easier one from here. Launch while on the ground. Oh. Oh my God, it might be that simple. <laughs> uh, have we been collectively overthinking it? Hold on, I'm gonna have to try that now. It might genuinely be that simple. Okay. We have to go top to bottom, mostly. Not like exactly, but that's the idea. Cause like once I blow up this stuff, like I close off these ramps, right? Oops, uh, just shoot that into the wall. I don't think you can shoot from the ground. You can't shoot while laying down. Hold on, I'm gonna just get the easy ones again. Give me a second. Yeah, see, it, a lot of this is just knowing where to shoot them, because in two and a half minutes, like half of the available time. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So this is as far down as we can actually get, unless. I've screwed myself on this run. What I was thinking at the end of the last one is that maybe we could use like that. Ah, oh, shit. Now we need to go down, right? Break the single block and not the bridge to it, I think. On. For for getting down there. Oh, you might be right. Oh, you're totally right. Hold on. Hold on. You're a hundred percent right. Well, get the get the difficult stuff out of the way, because I've got to start from up here. I see the vision. I, I can see it now. I see what you mean. Uh, Ace Xander, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, fuck. It's skinny. I should have done that in third person.
Oh, come on. <laughs> You're shitting me, man. Just like that? Alright, pull it up here. Bring it around town. Whoa. Don't hit the corner. Okay. I love that just doing this part takes me like a minute and a half of the five minutes. But I think with the with the new knowledge that we've procured, this is the run. Because everything past this point is not execution based. It's just those first couple that are like genuinely kind of hard to actually execute. And from here, so we run down here and we shoot out that block, but not the bridge. This is totally the vision. I see it. And then we take the bridge up. Oh shit, hold on. Wrong way. We take the bridge up, because you can't climb a single block, but you can drop down a single block. Yeah, okay. And from here, everything becomes available, mostly. Oh, that's too high. Okay. Captain Toad's treasure tracker. <laughs> it's a uh, it's an interesting thing for Metal Gear <laughs> to remind you of. Um, is it low enough to where just the timer detonation will take this out? I don't think it is. But it might if I just hover it for the timer. Because I think that's how these last couple just go. I think it really is as simple as you just got to wait the timer out. Burn up all the fuel on it. Under the ramp? Oh. Are we at the right elevation for that? No, it just hits it. It, w it was a worthwhile experiment. I was curious. Hello, Tibby. At this point, this, this genuinely gets the job done. This'll do it. I don't know how many missions are left exactly, but I should be finishing up VR missions today, like in the next hour and a half, I would think so. Unless there's enough stuff like this one that is just really weirdly complicated to uh, to figure out. Oh wait. Oh no, the fucking ramp. It's okay. At this elevation, it will still take those out. I messed that up. Start MGS2. Um. Is there a manual detonate? I don't think there is. Uh, we're doing Ghost Babble before MGS2. Release order and all that. Huh. 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 What? I'm so pissed. I forgot there would be an exit point. I was like, I was so tunnel visioned on just getting all the blocks destroyed. That's mean. That is very mean. Bitches. Can't you unequip it? Will it detonate if it unequips or is it just going to fly off into oblivion is the question. At least the music is going. The music is carrying this. 
I can't believe the exit point, man. That is just cruel. Oh. Have I not been hitting them directly? Yeah, I've been using the fuse for that one, too. Is it the starting point? It just depends on the... What's it? The mission. There's not really a way of knowing ahead of time. But the exit point... Oh, if you just mean where is it in general. The exit point was right here. So it's not bad. Like, I know how we can get back to it. It's just... That's really cruel of them to, uh, to set it up like that. Because once you realize how to get over here and, uh, you know, shoot them from that very lowest point, you then have to do the bridge after you run back over it. Yeah, cross the bridge before. It's not super complicated. It's it's just one of those things that, like, if you don't know it ahead of time, you're just going to have to do another reset. Just one more run of it. Go on through there. Um, okay. And then it's just the ones that I was detonating with the fuse. Here, let's see. If I just do, like, quick unequip. Oh, it does detonate! Okay, that that's what it is then. That makes things so much faster, too. <laughs> A lot faster. Who would have thought? And then we go back. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll drop down because this is like one block lower. That should still hit it. I'm pretty sure. No? Okay, we go down here then. There. That was actually, that's the first one that really felt like a puzzle. Ah. I was 30 seconds off getting on the leaderboard. Doesn't matter. We're at 87 points. Three. I was too invested into that one. That was the first one that really felt like a puzzle. Um, you can destroy the wall by exploding the landmines. There's claymores. Yep. The landmines. Fuck. Okay, you cheeky bitches. Yeah, there. Have there actually just been... Oh, they're gonna be in the spotlights. Yeah, okay. There's just one dead in the middle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There's four dead in the middle. Okay. Okay. This one isn't bad. Could be a lot worse. They gave me enough health to tank a claymore. I can work with this. Okay, it's just, you really gotta get in there, find, like, get the perfect amount of crawl, and then get out. That is a really slim window. <laughs> Probably don't need my glasses on. I have them on for the footprint puzzle, or sorry, mystery. The murder mystery, like, however long ago at this point. Fuck, I blew one of them up. Shit. Yeah, I don't need to have these on anymore. I was wearing them all morning. I'm not gonna get a headache. I'm good. How long will the stream go? Uh, another hour and a half about. Since you already know where they are. 
Yes. You, you had me considering not grabbing it. It's that I can get like that, that perfect amount of crawl. Of course you have enough for it. All right. I got time. Who needs glasses when you got shades? Fuck. I'm gonna get, yeah. If you get hit by them, you're gonna get spotted too. I'm pushing it on the crawl. I'm pushing it. Am I gonna play the phone games? Um, I'm gonna play one of them. Cause, uh, what's it? MGS Touch, I think it's called. The MGS4 one, that, that's a whole nothing burger. That, there, there's, no, there's no value in that one, from what I understand currently. I haven't extensively looked into it, and I'm gonna double check, but it seems like there's really no reason to play it. Uh, alongside just trying to actually get old iOS stuff recorded is such a bitch anyway, that unless it's like, really worthwhile to check it out it's probably just not worth the effort and money spent on equipment in that case uh but the nokia one is another story okay booyah we're in Open that door like a professional. Impressive, Sweet. Thank you. Oh, and I'm on the leaderboard and everything. Look at that. That was way easier than the, uh, than the Nikita one. I didn't read it. Learn how to hit the target with the grenade. Raise all the columns by throwing grenades at them. What? Huh? Bro. What? Oh, that's insane. How many targets do I have to take out? Oh, I get it. Puzzles are getting puzzly. Yeah, this one's puzzly for sure. Um, and it's fucked up. <gasps> nope, that's not gonna work. Fuck. Let me restart it. There's a little prior planning needed with this one. Okay. So what's really easy is doing them in blocks of four. Actually, could I throw them from like back here and only hit the two in the back? No, it's gonna hit the whole block. Um. Let's go all the way back here. Fuck, okay. Yeah, all right, um. <laughs> Snake, I need your diagonal. I need you to work with me here, all right? I can't angle him like that. Perfect. Oh, shit. How did that happen? Are you shitting me? How did I manage? Fucking hell. Oops. There's, or the only way to play SMT1 with an official English translation is an iOS port that hasn't been updated in a decade. So you can't play it anymore? Well, of course you can play it. Just learn Japanese. So easy, right? 
worth it to play a game. Definitely. Um, man, how did I accidentally get like the near perfect setup the first time around? We're just going to start doing trial and error a bit. We're just going to start chucking grenades down there, seeing what can happen. I got to play with the possibilities. See, now how did I manage to fuck that up? Oh, God damn it. I've made things really not good. Very not good. Um. Shit. I really fucked that up. That was not right. Um. But I might be able to throw them like totally off to the side like this and only hit. Nope, I hit all four. If I could find a way to only hit the bottom row, this could actually be pretty easy. This might actually be more difficult than it looks. I'm telling you, it, it definitely is. It seemed really simple. Oh, for fuck. I found out how to only hit the side. Um. If you are all the way over on the edge, which the perspective makes it look like it's not gonna fall that way. But it absolutely does. Um, my brain. Throw at an angle for the bottom row, bro. I can't like see the angle. And also it's like how much run needs to be on it. Cause Snake does not like going diagonal like that. And with no run, it only ends up there. With run, goes way into nowhere. Hold on a sec. Where's that gonna go? Fucking all the way out, apparently. Shit. The, f the grenade physics are something in this, let me tell ya. How does that go so far out there with like the tiniest bit of run on it? I have no idea. I might have found the angle. Oh, that only- what the fuck? What? Okay, 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 okay. This could be very easy with perfect execution. Let's go for the angles first. Snake doesn't like to go omnidirectional. Not when I need him to. Oh, what a banger setup right there. That'll do it. That'll do it. 
39 seconds. Ammo bonus? 31 seconds. Oh, look at that time. Figuring out those angles is something, though. Eliminate enemy soldiers and head for the goal. Use your expertise in destroying the surveillance cameras. Uh-oh. In destroying the surveillance cameras. Yeah, with C4. Right. Of course. And now we just... Oh, okay. He caught a crazy angle on me there. I was about to say, we, we pray for the AI to work with me here. Oops, I put it on the D-pad. Fuck. He doesn't look away, does he? Oh, he does. Why am I trying to do... Okay. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Destroy the cameras? How? What? Huh? What? I have a plan. Okay, I got a little too close. I don't think it'll kill if it's further away. Yeah, this is a weird one. Uh oh. I'm trying to get right on the edge of the camera. Under the cams and lure the guard out by knocking. The camera? Yeah, 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 that's the thing. Is I can't, like, that's where I'm confused with the whole destroy the camera thing. Is the, uh, you know, the only two ways to actually get into there are, uh, being monitored by cameras. So, I'm... Oh, you can knock on waist high? I didn't know that. I thought it had to be a full wall. First person, the camera? What do you mean? Just look at it. Get a visual. Um. Wait, he's. What? He's walking in? What? So after a certain amount of time, oh, my bad. RC4 throwable? No. Why is that back? I'm assuming the back wall is there so that you can lure the guard. I think that's the intent there. Is to wait for him to go up to the top and then lure him with the wall. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it here because it's he's going to see me over the wall. Here, at least there's more room to give him the runaround. Oh, but I can't give him the... What the fuck? What's the goal? Eliminate the soldier. Use your expertise in destroying the surveillance cameras. So the goal is just to kill the soldier. Here. Oh, okay. With, with the right... With the right timing, this can be made pretty easy, actually, if I only have to kill the soldier. It seems like destroying the cameras is just there to be able to get to the soldier. I could give him a crazy corner flip, but he comes in at that side, so maybe it's not gonna work. 
because he's coming in with an angle where he's going to see me. You can do some crazy stuff with corners in MGS1 that I've learned from VR missions. Yeah, see, if he turns there, he's going to immediately see me. Crawl under the camera? There's no way that would work, right? Right? Hold on. Now I'm thinking. What if? He's going to be hanging out down there for a bit. No, there's no shot. Okay. It was worth a shot. Explosive to lure the guard onto it. I have an idea. Um, there's no fun if you look it up. Exactly. It's, it's a puzzle. It's, it's literally called puzzle. I don't want to be searching it. Did I, uh, <laughs> did I forget to unequip the C4? I may have forgotten the, uh, the unequip part. I don't think the cameras will react to noise. Okay, no, even if you unequip it. Okay, it, it just, it blows up. Oh, but wait. Him getting alerted by the C4. Fuck. Alerting him with the C4 instantly ends the the mission. Because I'm not dying from that explosion. I have plenty of health. Oh, oh my god. Well, that's that part. Um... Okay, that's, that's, a uh... Shit. Just beat the game. It's, a uh, it's an expansion pack. If you have any version that's not, like, the original PS1 version, I, I'm pretty sure they all just came bundled. I know it comes bundled with Integral. I'm pretty sure. I don't know that, actually. I'm certain. Fairly certain but not 100% certain. Uh, I'm on the PC version, so it comes bundled with that if you're on the GOG uh, PC port. And then Master Collection also just has the VR missions in there. But it was an expansion that came like a year after the game came out. Um, Just say nuh-uh when the camera sees you and you should be good. This is a, this is a tricky one. And there's no item, I don't think. Let's at least do this bit. Okay, I've got a solid three and a half minutes to cook up a way inside. Uh, peek and creep the camera, I don't know. I don't know. They don't react to noise, like I can't get them to look over or anything. Put the C4 in the wall spots. Crawling, crawling in doesn't work. It only, the crawling past only works if you're like outside. As soon as you go into that middle spot, they see you. Maybe the explosion's big enough? It could be. I can't. Oh, on the outside wall might work. Call the Colonel, if only. Where is Campbell when you need him? See if one can... 
Dude, if that works, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to try it. Oh, fuck! Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna t take out the guard and then I'm gonna check the walls. Cause that might actually work. They might be doing one of those secrets. Any support? No, it's just this. I actually think that that might- I think there's probably a weak wall. I- I really- that's- It's gonna be ridiculous if that is the solution, but I think that that's it. Oops. Maybe not. Unless at the top. Don't rule it out too early. <laughs> Fucking bitch! Okay. God damn. These cameras are really pushing it. I gotta say, these puzzles, the first couple were incredibly easy. And since then, it's really ramped up a good bit. I have to admit. Okay, maybe along the top wall. This is like as close as I can get without getting spotted. Cause like, even if I was standing right here, I would get spotted by the camera. So I can't plant a C4 in the middle spot. Cause like the two blocks on the sides, I'll get spotted standing against those too. Tass's idea is so crazy, it might just work. That idea is so wild. It's possible. Oh shit. It's, is it possible? While crawling to- you can't move though. You get stuck in place if you're like, if you're crouched. We got those MGS1 mechanics. Ah, shit. Can you place C4 on guards? I don't know. There's certainly one way to find out. Uh, trying to see if there's ever a time where he like steps out of the, the line of sight on his own. You can place it on guards. Oh my God. But how do I knock him out? All these walls are waist high. Oh. I, I see the path to victory. I see it. Hold on. We wait right here. It's gonna take a minute, but we wait right here. This is, I, I have to wait for a minute. Weapon button nine times only knocks out, 10 times snaps the neck. Okay. I'm gonna have to count my my button pushes. 
I have to have a really swift grab too. I don't have a lot of room to grab him here before he's back in the camera's line of sight. And the grabs can be really finicky in MGS1. You've gotta be like right against them and you have to be neutral on the thumbstick. If you're pushing a direction on the thumbstick, you're gonna get the flip. I don't want to knock. I, I thought that would be the move. Oh, fuck off. Are we sure we can plant it on the guards in MGS1? Is that something they did later as well? Shh. After all that, after the perfect execution. Maybe not if knocked out. Yeah. There's no way that it works while they're standing. He must have a spot where he stops outside of camera view then, right? There's gotta be a spot where he stops, cause there's no way I could do it while he's in motion. Yeah, the C4 is the key. It's just, what do I do with it? left side he's got to be standing still is the thing i think i don't want to knock because i can't run away i would have to crawl around and i i don't feel confident in my execution with that where's he gonna stop is he just gonna circle He's going around this side now. Walk behind him? No way that that works. There's absolutely... It's so crazy it might. Hold on. Okay. I was like, it's so crazy, it might just work. Um, God damn it, could you? Uh, okay. So once he moves from here, he starts just patrolling around, which is definitely, oh shit. I was late. Um, that's definitely, somehow my chance to get a C4 planted on him. The complication is that I don't know. How to do that. Even if they're standing still, I don't know. Cause I, I can't run up to him when he's there cause the camera will see me in, in that spot. If I'm on the tile to the left or the right of him, I get spotted by the camera unless I'm crawling. So I can't run up to him while he's here. You have to put it on his back. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right, operation um, plant a C4 on this bitch. Starts now. Using a C4 as a diversion raises an alert, which instantly fails. I tried doing it early. I could distract him with a knock. Ooh. 
Oh, fucking. You have to get the first C4 on this bitch. There is no. I, I thought that they would all like blow up at once, but no, you have to like rapid press the button. Okay, so that is. I just have to wait for him to run around. And it has to be the first C4 that actually sticks to his back. Otherwise, the sequence of them blowing up will fail me. Jesus Christ, this puzzle. Hello, Raiden. I didn't even know you could stick a C4 to a guard's back in this game. After like three full playthroughs, getting the Fox rank, doing most of the VR missions, this is new to me, that this is even a feature. Sorry, I say three full playthroughs. Four full playthroughs. Three on stream, one for the review. I've never known that this is even a mechanic. So I guess I treat it as like the grab range, right? Like if I could probably put him in a chokehold, um, then I could probably plant the C4. Even the VR missions have 20 DLC missions. I really fuck with character action and Rising, I haven't mentioned it in the reviews yet. Cause I'm, right now, uh, people who watch stream consistently already know. Uh, for the videos, I'm just waiting until I get there. Cause as as they said. it's not as snappy as I haven't played any of them. 45 seconds, kiss my ass. Um. Rising is the one Metal Gear game that I played before the review series. I played it like three years ago because I saw the memes and I was slightly interested after seeing the memes. But then uh, I heard the music and I, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm buying this for the music. And I played it for the music. Didn't understand the story. I literally reset to read the text and then didn't read it. Uh, I played it, didn't understand any of the story, but gameplay was fun, music was awesome. So I've played Rising, and I think that doing like S ranks on all the mu or all the missions on all the like that's fine. I'm, right now, I'm in the middle of doing S ranks for every DMC mission across the series for stream. <laughs> music is a banger, war is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, flipping a Metal Gear and then slicing it into bits in the air is really cool. <laughs> really stupid, but really cool. Lure the enemy, lure out the enemy soldier and destroy the wall. Oh, I get it. Okay. I see what has to be done. But needed for economic benefits. I do also remember like the one thing that I got out of the story was like that. And I was like, man, this game is kind of based for that one. Like, they just have a group of people who uh, intentionally start wars to make money. That's like the the central theme they're running with. How the fuck do I get past this? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Run it back. I know what I have to do. Whose footprints are these? I have to distract him and get him moving with me this early. I thought I was going to knock on the wall later, like once I was ready to go. But no, we distract him here. Whose footprints are these? Then we go. The DNA of the madness. I do know that there have been some like diehard Metal Gear fans in the comments already. Who are, <laughs> uh, even like way back when I played Snake's Revenge, I, I think I got a comment that was like, oh my God, this means he's gonna play Rising. Just throughout the review series, I've I've had like a very small group of people, but a handful of people who are like, please don't play Rising. Little do they know I've already played it. And I thought it was awesome. Uh oh. Okay, I should just run straight past. Got it. I don't know what the thought process was with the crawling. Oh. 
Okay. I love rising, but 100% was painful. Yeah, yeah, some people are just like, you shouldn't even bother with rising because it's stupid and not a Metal Gear game. <laughs> Fucking hell. But the amount of like, not a Metal Gear game comments that I've gotten on literally anything not directed by Kojima, I've now realized that those comments are just not worth paying attention to in the slightest. They said not to play it. Yeah, it's like a, a small group of very, very hardcore fans. Like, I had people say it on, um, what's it? Ghost Babble, even. Uh, it's, it's just, there are, there's a small group out there that every time that I play a spin-off, like a game that Kojima didn't direct, they're just like, why did you do this? This isn't even a real Metal Gear. Now I can run across. It's that first crawl that's really iffy. Because he's going to see the footprints. Whose footprints are these? Uh oh. Oh, it's okay. Works out. Rotate. He, he's going, man. He's really going. Uh, we do it like this. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The fuck? No. Oh, my God. Are we screwed? I think we're screwed. Oh, we're not screwed. There's time. How do I get him? I, I think I just went too fast, seemingly. I got time to check. Why Why did the bot do this now? Oh. Fou oh, the letter R, because it's spaced out. I was like, why did it bonk that one? Does not work. Ah. Oh. It might. I might just have to... Oh. Fuck. Yeah, the prince disappeared because I was running too fast. I think I just have to, like... Every every once in a while, do like a little a little couple spins, and then maybe keep going, so that he still has a trail to follow. I'm not entirely sure. Knocking at the end might work. That first crawl is so iffy. Okay, now we go. Those are just not fun. I liked acid. Survive. Yet to be seen. Shit, that was way too risky. What am I doing? <laughs> I, the idea is there. I can't tell how far he got the last time, but it seems like he... I, I don't think he even got that far. Uh-oh. I don't think you need to go that slow. Yeah, I, I was doing a lot of spins just because I wanted to get it, you know. I didn't want to have to do more runs of it, but here we are, because I got a little greedy and wanted to speed things up, and now here we are. <gasps> Fuck! Who's that? With his own hands and not through a team. Well, yeah, like I... And I had to be very careful uh, in the Portable Ops video that went up today, which if you've seen it, I had like the little, you know, is it is the game canon, is it not bit at the beginning? Um, and it's, it's hard to approach that because in some ways Kojima is a little, uh, I don't know what word I want here. 
a little up his own ass, a little pretentious sometimes. Um, so it's walking a very fine line between like, you know, th this was made to be a, a canon mainline entry, but then years later, Kojima said it's not because he didn't direct it. And I have to find a way to be like, you know, I'm looking at this the way it's intended without just straight up being like, because Kojima was being a bitch about it. No, he lost the trail. Okay, I think I do just have to knock up here then. Let's hope that he doesn't see me when I do it. The foot... It's still like he gets far enough behind that the tracks disappear, right? further back. The splinters will will catch him. Maybe I don't want to plant that yet. Why? And rolling his er, rolling his eyes at him being pretentious about stuff is mutual. It's not. I respect like it's it's Hideo Kojima, right? Oh no, and uh, lore for new people. Like I, I worked as a designer in game dev. So like, yeah, I, I respect Kojima a lot, but also sometimes, yeah. Like even just that, that comment, right? Where it's like, there's one game that is mainline that you didn't direct. Like, what, what about that one? And he doesn't outright say anything. I didn't get the fucking Claymore. He doesn't outright say, like he kind of tiptoes around it by saying, if I didn't direct it, then it's probably not canon. Like he doesn't outright say that it's not. I would assume because just the history of the game's development, like it was. And he was a producer on it, right? And he waited to finish the MGS4 script at the time because he was waiting for the Portable Ops script to be finalized. So he kind of like tiptoed around it and was like, well, if I didn't direct it, then it's not canon. He also said some parts are. It's in a separate interview though, which is really, that, that's kind of where it gets Weird. Because I, I also saw that. But. Yeah, it gets weird because it's. He said that in a separate interview where where it came up again with someone else, with a different journalist. So it, it gets strange. Do I really just have to walk in a straight line, but just wait for him? Has that been the solution this entire time? God, it has been. It was that simple. God damn it. Excellent snake. Uh, Digi Short, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, first place too. Based on how many there are. Oh, it probably is time. And if there's too many, it probably clears them for like memory purposes. Because PS1 notoriously didn't have a lot of RAM. That's why texture work on PS1 is so consistently awful. But geom like 3D polygons are actually pretty good for the time. It's because it had a RAM problem, so it couldn't store that many high quality textures. If you didn't know, now you know. I, I love the PS- I'm such a PS1 nerd. <laughs> I fucking love the PS1. All right, puzzle category is done. None of these should be so confusing anymore. 
drag the enemy and take him right here. If he struggles, tighten the str- Oh! Now this is just teaching you the deeper mechanics. Because I didn't know that. That it's like, oh yeah, if he starts to wiggle, just tap the button again. Tighten your hold. I had no idea you could do that. I've said it before that like Kojima can be a little pretentious about stuff, certainly, and a little up his own ass about stuff, but like, Who's that? what do you want from me? You want me to kill him on there? Is that what you want? Cause I brought him there. Drag the enemy and take him right here. I did that. Uh, he, in a way it's fair to be like, well, he earned it. Like you can, you can point it out, but it's also like, well, have you seen his, his cat? Like, even outside of Metal Gear, he has a lot of very acclaimed titles. Let's see. I right, gotta wiggle you around a bit here. This isn't good. Ha! Oh. What? Ha ha! Is this what you want? It is. Okay, you should, pro you should probably say that. It work. It was good as they said. But I'll take it. Directions were unclear on that one. For the ARG. Drop the enemy soldier into the hole. If you are spotted, training mission will be aborted. What's it gonna be, a flip? Yeah, flip. Which way does he go? I can do it either way. I think. Oh, do I have to knock him over here? I might. He's sleeping. Currently, he heard it. Huh? I don't know what my favorite MGS1 line is kind of tricky, actually. Fuck. And him spotting me mid flip. It's kind of hard. Like, I I'm mostly thinking guard voice lines rather than like quotes. It's actually, that is hard. What what's the best like guard voice line in MGS1? I like whose footprints are these. Oh, just a box? J just a box is good? Um... It might be just a box. Just a box might be my favorite one. If I had to choose one. You got a great butt. Yeah, yeah guard voice lines. Fucking bitch! <laughs> not a dick like Castlevania's Igarashi. I'm not familiar with him. A lot of game devs who have a, um, like a really uh, strong portfolio are like that, to be fair. Like, it's super common. Uh, I'm trying to think of other, like, particularly noteworthy. Hideki Kamiya is like that, but he's he's his own. If you used to follow him on Twitter back when he was on Twitter, because he's no longer on Twitter, uh, you know what I mean. Hideki Kamiya was something else, dude. Uh, how do I get you in this hole? Sam Lake seems pretty hungle. Uh, hungle. Sam Lake, from what I can tell, is pretty chill. I'm trying to think. Kamiya's a, a great one, though. He, he's very. something, dude. Uh. I'm also just trying to figure out how to get this bitch in the hole.
Can I get you up here? Thank you. How do I get you in there? I said these weren't going to be brain busters anymore, but here we are. How the fuck? Because he's going to go over my shoulder. Huh? The guy that blocks everyone for the smallest criticism? Uh, yes. But even outside of that, he was very funny. Because he would like... He would like bitch you out over the criticism and then block you. It wouldn't just be like, oh, insta-block if you criticize me or my work. It was like he would get super pissed at you and let you know it and then block you. And if you followed him on Twitter, you know, it would be the like occasional like promotional tweet, whatever, talking about dev stuff, who knows. And then it would be like him beefing with some random hater on Twitter. <laughs> it would just be and it would mostly be him beefing with people. Like, you follow him to keep up with all the professional stuff, but then it's just him bitching people out. Oh, David Jaffe is such a bitch. Thank you. David Jaffe, uh, creator of God of War. S the worst. The worst. He's up there. Oh, sorry. Kamiya, if you don't know him by name, was the original Resident Evil 2 on PS1. He directed that. Um... The original Devil May Cry, uh, Bayonetta. Someone needed to take away Kamiya's keyboard. He, he left Twitter because he was like, I just get so irrationally angry on this website every day. It's not good for my health. And he just, eventually he realized and he just left. He deleted his Twitter too, it's, it's no longer up. I think there's like a parody account that's up now. He sucks at playing games, does he? I don't think I've seen him play games. Yeah, and Twisted Metal. For solving puzzles in Metroid Dread is hilarious. Okay, so there's, there's clips of... Uh, there are clips that I haven't seen of David Jaffe playing games, apparently. Have you tried punch kick combo? You know, it sounds crazy. Oh my god. Well, now I feel stupid. It's actually unbelievable. Oh no. I haven't seen this. I just, I know that I, I used to follow him on Twitter. This one seems easy enough. Wow! That was so stupid. Um. There's a lot of like, well-known directors that I used to follow on Twitter that I just unfollowed because they cluttered up my feed with random shit. Um, Jaffe was one of them. Uh, actually, Kojima was one of them. Pre me doing the Metal Gear series where I went and refollowed him. Uh, my reasoning for Kojima specifically being all that goddamn retweeting. When Kojima has been on Twitter, you know, because if you're scrolling your following feed, Kojima tweets all the time. Dude, like here, let me see. Let, let's try to determine when was the last time that Kojima was on Twitter? Because it's not going to take long to figure that out. I'll scroll my following feed. It's not always bad. Like right now, he hasn't been on the app for like the last three hours. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I don't follow a ton of people on Twitter. Like, you know, some people follow like a thousand accounts. I'm not, I'm not that bad yet. 
I follow like a hundred some. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, 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 Kojima. Here it is. Um, Kojima was on Twitter about four hours ago. Now, let me just count the amount of posts in a row. I'm just going to count how many in a row. If there's any interrupted by anyone else I follow, I'll stop counting. But uh, let's see how many things he retweeted slash tweeted himself in one sitting. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, until I get something from someone else. None of those were an original tweet. Those were all retweets. And it's just every time he goes on Twitter, he tweets or retweets like five to ten things in one go. And it's just like, dude, I'm trying to like get a little bit of everything. You know, I'm trying to read my Twitter feed here. And then all of a sudden, and it's all like a lot of it too, will be like Death Stranding screenshots that like people took in, what's it, photo mode. Like, it won't really be anything all that significant. It's just like, if you support his stuff, then he retweets it, if he catches it. So it's just like a lot of random screenshots and stuff. Okay, this one, I have an idea. I have a plan. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Talks like he's been a Metroid fan for years, but couldn't figure out the early game basic puzzles that would have been on Super Nintendo games. Yeah, someone said it was something with bombs. Yeah, Kojima is like one of those people who I want to follow you on Twitter, <laughs> but you make it really hard. You like you, it's just. It gets so cluttered. Like here, hold on. I still have the app open. I didn't fully close it. This, I can't read that. I need to translate it. I follow his actual Twitter, by the way, not his translator's Twitter. I'm in the process of studying Japanese. So sometimes it's not so bad. Most of the time I need to translate it. Um, this was someone posting saying that they have been reading the novelization of Death Stranding and they posted the, the books. He retweeted it. That's a screenshot from studio mode or sorry, photo mode. Um, what is this? This is a. What is this? I think this is like a it's the motorcycle from Death Stranding and it's like a like a model kit or something. I'm not entirely. It looks like it's a model kit from what I'm seeing. Um, screenshot from photo mode, screenshot from photo mode. Yeah, it's, it's just random shit. It's just <laughs> it's, if it's just you being like, oh, I like Death Stranding. Retweet, retweet. There's some Metal Gear stuff. He'll retweet Metal Gear 2, but it's mostly Death Stranding, because, you know, that, that's what he's working on right now. It makes sense. As much as he still has pride in, like, Metal Gear, right now he's not working on Metal Gear. So it's mostly Death Stranding stuff. Oh, I wish I could knock on the wall right now. Okay, so I really just have to take you two at a time. Oh, that one is going to... Okay. Um, there's a room in Dread that's been dubbed the Jaffe Room because you have to shoot the ceiling, which is made pretty obvious. And that's where he got stuck so bad that he made multiple videos ranting. Oh boy. I meant to stick it to him. Yeah, you have no health for this. Fucking through the wall, okay. Yeah, I'll see Metal Gear fan art from time to time. I'll see Metal Gear stuff, but it's mostly Death Stranding right now, which again, it's what he's working on. Oh, 
David, it's time to stop posting. There, there are moments with some people where you're like, you should not have this account. You should, like, for your own sake, just don't, don't put yourself out there like this. You're not making yourself look good. Someone needs to take this app away from you. In that case, where it's like, you got stuck in a room that I'm assuming is not poorly designed, but then made like video rants about how poorly designed it is. That, that's a moment where it's like someone take his YouTube from it. But just have him give you the account. Don't let him on it. Leave it up. Manage it. Whatever you got to do. You know, like ban the crazy shit in the comment. Like crazy shit being like gamer words. You know, keep the channel clean, moderated. Uh, just don't let him back on it. For his own sake. To be fair, you go far back enough in my YouTube and yeah, I've got some really, really dumb takes. But, you know, sometimes they, you just need to take the account from them. Not dumb takes like I have now, where it's like, oh, you know, I think there's a little too much inventory stuff, like too much menu stuff, iframes, bitch, in MGS3. Which, to be fair, I feel like Excellent. for the majority of people, that wasn't that bad of a take. I think that that's one of those situations where maybe just the amount of people who were like, this is a dog shit opinion made me think that it was worse than it was. Because a lot of people were like, yeah, there's a lot of menus. Like, there were a lot of people agreeing, but they don't stand out as much as the people getting really pissed off about it. I should have read that. Enter the goal surrounded by enemy soldiers. You just want me to walk in there? That's what you want? Certainly. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh my god, they shuffle! Um... Who's that? It's a normal take, I think. <sighs> Those comments are a war zone, man. <laughs> I've talked about it on stream a, a bit that uh, I had fully anticipated before posting like the Twin Snakes review that that would go down as like the controversial one of the series because I liked the Twin Snakes a good bit. Um, the MGS3 review currently is the most controversial. In terms of just reception on the whole. I had the most people angry at me over the MGS3 review out of any of them so far. Which was not what I had expected. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I complained about the menus and, like, the game being too easy. That was the other big thing that I said in that video was the game was too easy. Um, if it works, it works. I found a way. And it's first place. Barely, but I'll take it. But despite me still being like really positive on it, like I really like MGS3 still. I just thought it was my least favorite of the trilogy, the MGS1, 2, and 3 specifically, like of that group. It's my least favorite out of the whole franchise, still my third favorite, right? And people were pissed. People were upset. How can someone who loves MGS2 gameplay hate the Twin Snakes? That's kind of the thing. MGS2 is like my favorite. Um, so for me, I played the Twin Snakes and I was like, it's Metal Gear Solid. It's MGS2. There are some problems, but like, eh, come on. Like, how can I not like this? <laughs> how could I hate this game? It's hard to dislike this, you know? Even when I was picking apart the little things, I was like, this is still pretty good. I don't know. Sorry. Eliminate all stealth soldiers. Stealth soldiers? What does that mean? What does... Okay. And head for the goal? Oh, no. Oh, this is a problem. 
So the PC port, <laughs> I've talked about this. Hold on. I have a five minute time limit. So you see this frame rate? That's not the stream, that's the game. Um. <clears throat> so the PC version, right? Came out in 2000. Uh oh, let me explain why this happens. I explained it when we played MGS1, but for anyone who missed out on it. You see, game gets really smooth as soon as the stealth camo isn't on the screen. Why does this happen? Well, it's because of modern CPU design. This is not something that is easily fixed without a patch. I didn't happen to find such a patch for this game, at least. Who's that? Um, your PC is worse than a PS1. It's because of the way that modern CPUs are designed, modern processors, where instead of having one powerful processor core, like my, my CPU has 24 cores that are all relatively powerful on their own, but the total processing load gets split across the 24 cores, right? And most modern applications work with that design in mind. Games that are really old, that have super CPU intensive effects like this, can just tank on like modern top end systems because it's only made to run off of one processor core. One down. I'm trying to explain PC shit as I do it. Seemingly, if I wait for like 30 seconds, it gets pretty good. It gets pretty stable. Fucker. So what's happening is the effect is only running on one processor. But because of the way that things are designed, you know, my, uh, my processor doesn't have enough power to do everything that it's doing normally on top of rendering out this effect, so shit is freaking out. You see, now how do I... I mean, I know how, actually. Hold on. I'm just... What was that? Oh my god, the frame rate. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh oh. What was that? Fascinating. Hey, it's like earlier, my little bit about the PS1's RAM and that probably being why the uh, footprint textures uh, deload based on how many there are, as long as, or as well as the timer. Because the PS1 notoriously had very little RAM for, for its time, even. That was like the trade off that the PS1 made was it had a really strong processor and a really strong graphics card for the time. But it um, it had awful RAM. It had very little RAM. Shoot down the advancing UFOs. If invaded by the UFOs, the training mission is aborted. It was a beast? It was for 3D graphics. Its RAM was something like I think the M or I, I know actually the N64 had more RAM than the PS1 despite the PS1 generally being a beast compared to the N64 uh, PS1 texture work was always worse if there was like a version on both but the N64 versions would always run worse because the N64 didn't have the processor and the GPU to do what the PS1 could do, like on the whole, in terms of its 3D graphics. Oh fuck, you're getting really close. Um, this is something. By file size on cartridges, that's also part of it. Which by, you know, PS1, they, they also had a similar issue. But PS1 devs were uh, were just like, well, or sorry, devs working on games for PS1 rather 
where like just throw it on a bunch of discs. Like how many discs does Final Fantasy VII have again? I know this is like the extreme example, but someone in chat will know. I haven't played it for myself yet someday. How many discs was Final Fantasy VII? I think it was four discs for Final Fantasy. Three? Oh, Final Fantasy VIII had four. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Seven was three. Okay, I was thinking of Final Fantasy VIII then. When I think of PS1 Final Fantasy, I just think of seven. Nine is four? Oh my god. Oh my god, leave me alone! Hold on, I'm getting invaded. Shit. The panic shots are happening. Fuck. Shit. Ah! Even MGS has two. The average, uh, not the average, a lot of games on PS1 had two. Like a shit ton of games had two discs on PS1. It, it was super common to have two discs. Um, RE2 had two of them. Uh, Parasite Eve had two of them. I'm thinking. MGS had two of them. Um, I know there's more. Fucking Armored Core Master of Arena had two. Just to get all those extra arena fights in there. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hold on. I know there's more. Oh, Ace Combat 3 had two of them. The Japanese version. The Western version cut enough missions that it only needed one disc, but the... The Japanese Ace Combat 3 has two. Gran Turismo 2, yeah, a ton of PS2 game, or PS2. PS1 games have two discs. I'm trying to think, I think all the Tomb Raiders were on one disc. At least if I remember right. JRPGs on Xbox 360? Oh yeah, the 360 in general had a storage problem. Dino Crisis 2 had two discs. I've still only played the first one. Someday, I'll play the second and third, right? There's three of them, I think. Yeah, talk about like big trade-offs with consoles. Uh, Xbox 360 was the powerhouse of that generation. You know what problem it had? Fucking storage and disc sizes. Like PS3, throw that shit on Blu-ray. You know how big was MGS4 again? Just file size? This is hard. <laughs> this is actually hard. Uh, someone told me before, MGS, or sorry. Yeah, MGS4 is really big for a game of its generation. Like really big. But it's because they just threw that bitch on a Blu-ray. Because the PS3 could use Blu-rays. That was the one big issue that 360 had, like, later in its life. Because early on, it was not a worry. In 2005, it wasn't a problem. But later on, it, it became a problem. Oops. Switch Blu-ray discs? Yeah. Uh oh. MGS4 loading between chapters almost longer than cutscenes. <laughs> I've heard, uh, you know, even though I haven't played MGS4, I'm well aware of the, uh, the cutscene length in that game being a meme. Delete the current file and reinstall. That is insane that that game was that big. What's really funny looking back is I remember, like at the later end of the the generation, I bought a expansion, like a disc expansion for the 360. That was like 80 gigs. And I was like, dude, I can have so many games on my Xbox now, like at one time. And looking back, like that was only like 12 years ago. 
that I was like, dude, with this, I can fit so many games. Now here I am with my two terabyte drives, my SSDs even, in my computer. I'm like, I, I need more storage. I don't have enough storage. I, I need more. Everything became like 80 gigs. Many actually hated watching them. I'm assuming it's one of those things that like the first playthrough, it's a blast. On later playthroughs, maybe not so much. Halo 4 on 360, multiplayer in the campaign had their own disc. They did? I don't remember that. Are you sure? I had Halo 4 on physical. Like that was kind of the start of me just giving in and starting to buy digital, but I have the disc. I, I still have the disc sitting around somewhere for it. I think so. You might be right, but I just don't remember Halo 4 being multi-disc. Uh-oh. Most of my old uh, physical games are in storage too, so I can't just like whip it out and look either. I can't just be like, oh, here's my case of Halo 4. I just, I don't have it here. I have it in the storage unit. With the rest of my 360 games, except for the one that I had to buy for a video recently sitting on my desk. My Ace Combat 6 disc that I still haven't found anywhere to put it other than just it sits off on the corner of my desk right now. And my Red Dead Redemption disc that is in the Ace Combat 6 case right now because when I put in Ace Combat 6, turns out that I still had in my Xbox One's disc drive my Red Dead Redemption disc from whenever I last used my Xbox One, however long ago. Like a whole one gigabyte. Bro, looking back, just the amount of storage that we need for anything now seems so ridiculous when like a decade ago I was like thrilled at the fact that I had 80 gigs of storage in my Xbox Excellent after sake. I bought like this big ass expansion for it. Now here I am with like my four terabytes and I'm like I need more. I don't have enough storage. I need another SSD. Which to be fair I can fit two more with this motherboard. And I knew that at some point I would probably just end up buying like a massive SSD down the line, but I'm kind of getting to that point where I might want that. I also might just buy like a big ass um, hard drive, not SSD, like huge, however big I can get for like a reasonable amount of money to start storing my videos on. I still have all of my videos stored physically because like in the event, that like my YouTube gets hacked and which happens like YouTube channels. It's it's been happening less now. They've tightened up the security on it, but there was a while there where like getting hijacked by some random crypto bro channel was just so ridiculously common that it was like, yeah, I'm storing all of my videos physically. I, I am not just trusting the fact that they're on my channel to keep them preserved. So at some point I'm genuinely just gonna buy like the largest hard drive that I can find just to store videos on. Like once I'm finished with them, just dump them onto there. I did not read the instructions clearly. Oh, destroy the targets, but not the soldiers. Okay, that's crazy. Got stolen by a Dogecoin spammer or scammer spammer. You guys have probably seen what I'm talking about though, right? Where like a random YouTube channel gets hacked and they delete every video, completely redo the branding to be like Tesla or whatever. And then they'll have like this live stream where they're replaying like a news segment where fucking Elon Musk was getting interviewed about his thoughts on crypto. And they're using that to like run a crypto scam. I'm sure people in chat have seen it. I've seen it happen to a few channels that I was subscribed to over the years. 
It happened to Did You Know Gaming? Oh, really? And I know that in a lot of cases that it happens, it's like really difficult to actually get your channel restored after that. Which is where I'm like, yeah, I don't trust uh, the fact that my videos are on my channel in terms of like preserving them. I used to, like most of my old videos, I don't have stored physically. Like I would have to download them, which I can do. I'm going to at some point. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why do they move? Really now? Oh, and you all, okay. Just be empty channels with porn links. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you can you can lay down on this? I had no idea. I would have been up here from the start. Oh, I'm shaky. That's why I didn't want to do that. I was like, this seems like it's set up to mess with me from the hitboxes, and it sure was. God damn it. I understand why Twitter didn't help. Well, it's hard to get it back. Like, it's a lot of work for them to actually get your account back to you. So, like in YouTube's case, unless you have a huge channel, it's really difficult. It happened to another creator that I know he managed to get his shit back, but it was an ordeal. And he, like, had a friend who was in, was on contract with an agency who works direct with YouTube representatives. And that's the only way he was able to, uh, to get it back, was he had to, like, go through that connection. He had to get, like, his buddy's agency to help him out to actually get his channel restored. Ace Combat YouTuber was hacked at some point. Um, this is a general question, They're completely random. Since, since some people are here who will actually know the answer. Who's like the biggest Ace Combat, like dedicated, just does Ace Combat YouTuber? Because from what I've found, their channel was like 100K. Do I just have to wait for them to shuffle? Because anything that will hit the tri or the diamond here is going to hit that guy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just wait. Okay. Ace Combat fan? I came across his. He might be who I was thinking of, actually. I think he had like 100K. Why am I even here? There we go. Um, what was I talking about a second ago? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, adult ADHD, everyone. Damn. Damn. That means my time was shit, but if I passed, I passed. Mm. I was about to say, we're probably not finishing, and then I looked over. Saw two minutes left stream time. What is this? Use SOCOM to destroy all the targets and head for the goal. There are long spells of no content. Well, yeah, it's it's niche and there are massive gaps in content. It's absolutely the problem. Because I was like kind of wondering with like my videos, um, just doing the Ace Combat reviews. It was kind of like my experience was the first few videos um, had like a slow, like steady growth, like the kind of thing that you'd expect. But then it just kind of stopped like a few videos in, like not even far in. It just like hit that point where it's that's as high as it's going to go. And it just kind of stayed there for the whole rest of the series. And so that was my first inkling of like, okay, either these videos are bad 
or maybe there's just not enough like hardcore interest in ace combat and i looked around for like dedicated channels and yeah like ace combat fan and stuff it was like as big as i could find and most of them are retired now it was also what i found most of them like in the last couple years since it's been so long since ace combat 7 we're just like i can't sustain this like there's just nothing to like bring more community interest in and so i can't just like carry this community for five years which happens adult adhd gang rise up if we can remember exactly me forgetting to do the patreon updates every week it's been bad because i get so hyper focused on just actually making the video that i forget to write like the the update for patrons and members and i'm like oh fuck so this week i actually i wrote one this morning already on the new video i'm trying instead of doing like one big update in like the middle of the week i'm gonna try doing little tiny updates throughout the week just like at each kind of big point in the process try doing that instead unless people end up just hating it on the feed which i can see being a problem is that like on the actual feed it's gonna look like shit oh my god why am i even paying hey man that's that's all you <laughs> but yeah there, there was a bit there where like literally last week uh raiden was the one who pointed it out to me like near the end of a stream uh, it was like sunday so it had been like a week since the Ace Combat 7 video. He's like, no update on the new video? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> uh... Don't mess with us Ace Combat fans. We're so used to content droughts that we don't return to life for years on end. I mean, from what we can tell, it seems like there's gonna be a new Ace Combat announced relatively soon. It's not in like a Gears of War situation where it, it's like, oh, we know a Gears of War is getting announced in like a couple months at the big Microsoft showcase, but it seems like one is getting announced in the next like three months or so. So my timing might not have been that bad. <laughs> Don't mess with these combat fans. There's like seven of them. I mean, I'm not saying anything. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Speaking of video stuff, I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'm gonna get back to working on the new video, which I am already, I mean, I got a couple hours of work in this morning, just between like publishing and just other stuff this morning. I got a couple hours of work in and I'm already very excited about next week's video, like very excited. Um, so, and by work, yes, I mean, I played the game a little bit. That's all I mean. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, uh, feel free to go ahead and sub. <laughs> sub. Leave a sub. Come back another time. We're doing this. Uh, what am I doing? Devil May Cry S ranks tomorrow. We're doing Dante Must Die at this point, and it's so hard. <laughs> We're at the point where I maybe get like two S ranks a stream if I'm lucky. It's been rough. The the amount of optimization it's required has been a lot. Um, I've been playing Ultra Kill for the first time on stream, which has been batshit insanity they actually dropped a big content update for ultra kill right as i was like one stream off of being done with it so now there might be more of it uh anyway also if you enjoyed leave a like helps algorithm and blah 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 uh if you're looking for links to anything outside of youtube to engage with the community things are in the description like twitter discord server whatever you're looking for it's all down there um if you haven't seen the portable ops video yet that's pinned at the top of chat. The whole playlist actually is pinned at the top of chat. So if you've missed any of the Metal Gear reviews, like maybe some of the non-canon stuff, uh, that's all there if you're interested. Other than that, though, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope to see all of you back here next time. I hope you all have the rest of your day. Thank you for coming to the stream. And goodbye. <laughs>